Yo, I'm going to stop. I got these tires. Oh, bro. If I look back through the comments and somebody asked me um, what load was I pulling tonight, and I told them, hey, it's actually lumber, you understand? Exactly. Today's a runner, bro. Yo, big up. How old are you? Yo, what about Jamaican chucking up? Up that, bro. Green Boss Gaming. Big up yourself, also. And, guys, um, we're just going to give a huge shout out to Zach Clay. Today is his birthday, and those YouTube and that's So, those Green Boss. Yo, we are the Reaper. Well, a lot is going on, you know? A lot is going on. Just I try to pick up this load. That one right there. Right over there. Yo, I'm going to peep me, child. Big up yourself. Yo, yo, I'm going my dog. Up top. Alright, exactly. I understand that, bro. No problem. Yeah, probably you're too young to be on Facebook. You never really pick up a load in first person um, before now. Every time I try, I feel so I'm going to try now. I'm actually using not the virtual camera for this um, backup. I'm using the one that's on the truck. Let's try. Hopefully it happens. I it attached but I'm kinda lean. But a truck can be attached in awkward positions, right? I have to be like dead center. Yo what one chum Lillian Chambers White Shop, what up? Driving a Ford LTL 9000 from Blade Shop. Yo what one Ben? What's up Ben? Who from? Yo Alright then, for this job, um, as, as, as you can see, if you're not familiar, this is a 1983 Ford LTL 9000, alright? This is one of Ford's um, big rigs. You know, it's been a while since I've used a day cab, and this truck looks amazing in a day cab. I love this bumper, with the two amber lights on, on each end, looks good. I'm, I'm it's a nice truck but it, it's uh, it's being updated as well as you can see the drive on node is actually in the seat yeah so you have to guys if you have already owned this truck you have to wait on the update for the bug fixes all right mm -hmm. as you can see through the grid as well it's an early stage truck but it's very nice to drive I love the bumper I love the color I love the visor and it's a Detroit. It's a Detroit. It's nice. Uh, for this trip, I'm going to tell you the info on the load. Uh, it's 38,000 pounds. And we have a 450 horsepower Detroit. I don't want to go with anything too overpowered because we don't like full trucks. We don't like to drive trucks that is overpowered. That's kind of awkward pull the load too easy and it's not really realistic for me some people different some people like a thousand hours for but I like mutual balance right mm -hmm. I'm going to show you on the map where we're at all right we're in Idaho boys all right we're going to go up top to Grangeville it's 180 up miles right that's the info guys. 
and I'm considering well I'm not considering I am going to buy the button box from I think it you know again heavy or something like that also I'm gonna purchase the SKRS shifter but look at this truck it's very unique not something you see every day It's going to be a short life. Ah, the Mormon. The Mormon is a 1987 57 feet. I think they say those chocolate were like handmade meaning like it wasn't really an, an assembly line where you have a big company like Peter or stuff like that like you have all those automotive automated like machines building the truck everything was like manually put together so that's the unique thing about these um, old rigs yo just smart um, excel is crazy yo that's like a million customization and we're going left so we can pull out and it's now 11 32 a.m. Right, let's see if we can get out can't really see the field of view is kind of whack we ran over the intersection right here. So everybody enjoying Utah so far? Or should I say either or right? I haven't heard one bad feedback about this new update. Everybody's enjoying it. If you haven't got it as yet, <laughs> yo, trust me, you need to get it. I know money is probably tight right now. Not everybody can like splash. It's twelve dollars, but a lot of people got bills to cover and stuff like that. So. Yeah, legends. Chuck sounds so good, yo. It's a Detroit. I'm not even like driving that fast. I'm just cruising. Hey guys, what's up? Thank you guys for liking the stream, alright? And subscribing. turn right up here it's gonna bring us let's see west okay we are continuing west and then we're gonna find the exit that brings us north Of this game, I know it's 
switch to a 1080p television and yo so crisp you can actually see the effect of the SSOA and if you haven't yet I know a lot of people are still not running the game on Ultra but if you have not yet oh the tire sounds I think it, the tire sounds come with the new update I'm not sure yeah I think it's the ambient sound yeah it comes with the sound um, with 1.38 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people that can't really afford twelve dollars sounds like a little to some people, but the way the way times are right now, a lot of people like has to be penny pinching, yo. And, oh crap. I don't think this is permitted to be using like jailbreak, especially in the city where there is a is that a city library or a hospital? Let me see. Damn, it's a hospital, man. And here we are jailbreaking the hell out of patients. Yeah, but thanks for the kind words, bro. Yeah, no problem, Pete. It comes with the game, bro. So you're all good. You don't have to worry about the sounds like where you're gonna get the mod because it's already implemented in 1.38. And that's the effect of F mod as well. Because with F mod, uh, for instance, like you're going in, like you're driving and you're going through a tunnel, you can actually hear the hollowness and the echo. Like you're actually in a tunnel. F mod is crazy. Zack. Thirteen. Just in ten minutes. I'm actually also waiting on JBS graphics mod, and there's a true definition of what SSAO does. Yeah, it has like it's like a reshade for itself. You can actually see the reflections of the trees, the shadows on the trees. Hey, a RTX 27 will be amazing for this game. It's kind of an overkill because I'm running a GTX 1080 right now and it runs at 60 very well. Just trying to, trying to read the comments and drive at the same time. Hey guys, I wanted to. Uh, we're not, uh, it's not mandatory, but uh, it'd be cool if you guys can like share the stream. Share the stream, guys. And hit the like button as well. It does a lot. Chuck. Gotta press enter. And we're at seventy two thousand pounds. Damn. That's a lot of lumber. 
Yo, uh, let's see what happened. I'm gonna read the comment section a little bit. And if you're wondering why I'm, I'm using the air tracker, it's track high art. Yo, what? What's going on? Um. Okay, guys, let's keep the chat just simple, right? Jennings Gaming, what's up, bro? What about Odin? What's up? Yeah, Odin, I was, but um, I got caught up because the kids. I had to went um to downtown to get some things for the kids and stuff like that. All right, Tyrese. See, yeah, I know you're here, bro. Back at it again, says famous Shay. All right. Jennings Gaming. I'm using a i7 6700K, not overclocked. Um, I'm on 8 gigabyte RAM currently, but I'm waiting for the rest of the sticks. I'm trying to go up to 16 or 32, but the 16 is like two weeks away. And I'm running a track IR5 head tracker. I'm going right, I'm going left. It's basically like a VR, but it's not something like you wear over your face. It's like clips onto your cap, so you have to wear a cap with it. Alright, the thing with trying to get subscribers, um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really going to say much, but if you want to get subscribers, it's basically just if someone likes it, they will, let, they will, they will follow your stream, alright, or your channel. You don't have to force someone to like subscribe and stuff like that because a lot of people don't like that. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna force someone to like subscribe and like your stream, right? Or your channel per se. At the end of the day, when they like it or, or they subscribe, uh, eventually they they're not gonna like tune into your channel, like when you upload videos and stuff. They're only gonna do it because you told them to do it, right? Let them like the stream or like the channel, the videos, and then they will automatically endorse your channel, right? But on the other hand, if you like, like I said a while ago, like um, I tell, um, I told you guys, like don't forget to like and subscribe, whatever. Uh, it's not like I'm forcing you; it's not mandatory, but it's like a kind of a reminder. But because sometimes people like watching the videos and get carried away, they don't really remember that there's a subscribe button, or they don't even remember that they're on YouTube. You understand? So it's just a reminder. But, Constantly telling someone to like subscribe, subscribe, but nah, that's not cool. Everyone does stuff different still, but yeah, I don't do that. Nice cab over in game and traffic. I got that mod. Uh, that mod from ATS mods that LT where it puts like old trucks traffic so it's kind of more cool looking you know because that truck that mod kind of adds trucks that looks rusty dirty and stuff like that so it's more authentic looking you know more real instead of having these clean clean peter bill 579 all the while our t680 or volvo yeah i think this is one more coming up Look. Crazy, man. Mothers are the best, y'all. Trust me. Got it, man. Yes, yes, man. Brother. Such a beautiful game, right? Whoa! Ah. Almost split the truck. Yo, Agent Eyes, welcome, bro. You know, we can't really put on too much aggressive driving as yet. Still, like, one taking to the nice scenes in Idaho. 
can't really imagine you when Denver, Colorado comes up, man. Crazy. Now let's look at the comment section now. I'm just trying to see. No, it, no, it's not like it's not like that. I'm like I'm trying to bash Zach. I'm just, you know, eventually, as I said, people will subscribe to your content or your channel. You understand? You don't have to force it. Just be yourself, you know. And people eventually come, like they're like sitting back having dinner. Sometimes chilling and watching a nice YouTube stream like the trucks or whatever. It's kind of cool more than like watching a movie or something like that. Plus no new movies is out. <laughs> Everybody's at home. So uh, since the coronavirus outbreak, I doubt there's been any filming. So we have to be watching about stuff like old schools. The tire sound do sound good. Very realistic. Hope everybody's doing good enough. Everybody, hope everybody's alright. Sometimes I worry about you guys, you know. Yeah, because like I, I almost like have 5,000 subscribers, right? That's a lot. Sometimes I like wonder if everybody's okay. And that's my nature, like very concerning person all right I use blend I use both blenders right as I said before I'm, I love 3d modeling I love it 3d modeling is so self explanatory man it's like once you get into the groove of it you can make anything because at first all I got to learn how to do 3d modeling how I got into 3d modeling um, I used to watch um, Andrew Price um, most of you guys will know him as oh, come on blender guru yeah I was like watching this tutorial on how to make the donut thing I think it was like two years back two years back right and I was watching them how to make the donut how to make the teacup and stuff like that and after like watching the video I was like I wonder if I can use this same technique and build something and then that that's when my first FRP trailer came about. I use the same techniques like start off with a cylinder. I start off with a cylinder, right? And I just stretch it on the x axis where it goes wide and then I just like oh come on man my game is sticking again I mean the button on my wheel and then I just apply the same technique that he taught me when making the donut Buttons need to be clean. Yeah, and I use the same technique and make my first trailer. So after you learn how to do it, like one thing in 3D modeling, it just goes naturally. And for modeling, uh, I think it's best to use 2.79 and use 2.81, 2.82, 2.83 for 3D modeling. It's better. Uh, what's my favorite truck in ATS? Uh, that's a hard one. Very hard. There's a lot. <clears throat> Honestly, if I tell you what my favorite truck is, you guys probably bash me. So I prefer not to say. 
but my favorite driving in ATS, I don't have a favorite. Everyone is nice to drive. Every single job. It's very nice to drive. What's your favorite one? Because this, I love to drive this. I love to drive the Mormon. I love to drive by the W900 flat glass. Everything is my favorite. But my favorite truck in real life is a Volvo 780. And then I start getting to love the Globe Trotter Volvo 860. The new Volvo is a new shape. Because people ask me why I love the Volvos, it's because it's not all about like looks for me. Well, looks, yeah, I love the look of the Volvo, but the comfort, meaning the spaces. I'm a tall guy, I'm a very tall guy, so yeah. I was, I was standing in the back of my cab, I wanted to like stand up and not be like crouched. Not bashing a flat top um, enthusiast or whatever, but yeah. I love Peter Bills and stuff like that, but it's sometimes it's kind of an eyesore, man. I'm tired of seeing Peter Bill, man. Trust me, tired, tired. It's like it was sometimes when someone like posts a picture of a Peter Bill, I was like, oh, again, not a Peter Bill again? And then they're gonna ask, like, how does this look? I mean, it just looks the same like any other Peter Bill. So I like to see his unique trucks. I like Freightliners uh, too. I like Freightliners, FLD, custom ones. You mean a dump body? Yeah, I think I've seen that um, quite recently, the dump. Yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it, bro. Looks crazy. I actually like messed around and I saw like Dangles, Jay Dangles was making um, a dump body. I was like, yeah, I feel like I never made a Jamaican dump before. And I just do spend, I think I spent like four hours and did it. I still have it in my arm um, as a um, blend file save. I think it, I was gonna. Yeah, the Mormon is really cool, and trust me, a lot of things coming for um, um, for these trucks um, by the shop. A lot of updates. And the CX11 car order that we are working on is also going to be epic. Epic, epic, epic. I like unique stuff. <coughs> Yo, trust me, dog. Remember one time we always like complain about like we need twisties in American trucks and we need rugged terrain, we need like mountainous area. Well, finally. I don't know. Comes to the rescue, y'all. So beautiful up here, man. This is the best map DLC yet. All of them have been great, but have you seen the new buildings in ATS? Have you seen like the, the gas stations, the truck stops, the restaurants, the city? Everything is like so more. Looks so much more realistic, y'all. Yeah, the new diamond ring, right? By KSI Shadow Walker. What the? Oh, you mean? Oh crap, I was reading the comment section. The Rio Royal. Who released it? Is it a payment I can purchase?
this truck, man. You know, I'm actually using the reflection on the bumper to tell the distance of the vehicle ahead of me. Yeah, the Ford LTL is a mean looking puppy. Crazy man. The mouth is just so big on a Ford LTL. Huge. Yo, huge accident. It's like a was that a Peter Bill tree for the Happy birthday, Zach. Everybody today is Zach birthday. He doesn't want to tell his age, he's gonna keep it confidential. But if I should take a while, I guess I'm gonna say like 15, 40. There was an audio delay. Bless up, Zach. You know what's the tradition of your birthday, right? Some egg and flour. Guys, we have just arrived. In Grangeville. Not Grangeville in Montego Bay, but Grangeville in Grangeville in Idaho. Tyrese today's a birthday to what the So we have two July babies in the house. You know how long it took me to say what to get this set up? Thank you, Juliet. Is that Juliet? Yeah, Juliet James. Sounds amazing, y'all. It's a Ford LTL 9000 by Blade Shop. And the link for this truck, if you want to purchase this truck, it's in the description, guys. Alright? It's $30. Comes with free updates. This is just version one. Let's bring up right here. Yep. One of the most um, useful thing that I have purchased for eight years so far got to be the truck I am. Has to be the track I am. Yeah, you know what you really really want? And you remember like we can like purchase garages in game, right? A really cool feature would be like if we could purchase like a home in every different state, different Yo, damn look at this corner man. Jeez. My gosh. Going on. This is what I'm talking about. This is cool, man. We're like on a farm. This is a totally new drop off. Let's go outside. This looks cool, doesn't it? Looks cool, right? You want to download this game? Uh, uh, the truck, the game is American Truck Simulator. Um, as you already know, it's on the Steam Workshop. I think it's on sale now for like, last time I heard someone say like $4.99. Yeah, it's like $4.99. So it's, it's worth the buy. And the DLC, the map DLC, each, for each map DLC is $11. 
twelve dollars to be exact. And we reach a destination. Twelve dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Pete. It's a really, really cool drop off. First, I'm seeing it. Hey, honestly, if I was like driving like um, a Peter Bell or something like that, I would probably be quit this game already. Damn, triples. I think I'm gonna try this one. I never did this before. This is like suicide, guys. I'm gonna try to pull trigger. Oh my god. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Where is it? Jesus, here it is. Look, the farm is cool, y'all. This drop off is insane. The truck looks so good. Love it, man. You don't see this every day. Nah, you don't. Let's get a four way flasher going. Yo, this is suicide, y'all. I'm pulling triples, y'all. Triples. Triples. Oh, gosh, man. No. What am I doing to myself? Parking brake. Touch the chair. Oh my god. Look at this. Let me pull out so you can see the lens. Alright, Julia, oh you can bite? <laughs> yeah, Pete Mitchell. Um suicide. How you can buy the game, you go on Steam. When you go on Steam, you are familiar with Steam, right? When you go on Steam, work, um, you just type in American Truck Simulator and you're going to see uh, where you can purchase it. I think you can purchase like, you can buy it as a bundle. I'm not sure where you can get all the states in one. Yeah, I think it's like $20 for that. <coughs> I'm not sure, I don't want to give the wrong information, but go ahead, go ahead and check it out on Steam. And it's only for the PC. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Mama, yo, to the guys that you actually pull these things in real life, look at this man. Oh gosh, how is this even legal? How is this even legal? I, I think I could angle two, but three. Are you guys ready to see a suicide mission? Are you guys ready to see a suicide mission? I think I'm gonna grab a drink of water before I tune out. I leave I'm just gonna get my lady to bring some a nice cup of water for me. Please, can I get some water? Because I'm so nervous right now. Some water. Water. Yeah, I'm coming right up. I'm coming right now. I'm just gonna grab some. Oh my god, I just had a drink of some sparkling water, so good. Hey guys, go and grab a snack if you have to grab a snack. I'm right here. Yeah, we'll get one good trip. Here's the fun part now coming up. Oh lord. Look on the map. Oh, cool. You see that? It's like um, a sink on the crack road. 
Let's go look at it. Right here. Right here, you see the lip? Cool. This is nice. In case you're wanting, I'm in dev mode. Dev gun, so. Let's see if it actually physically go up. Nice. Cool. Alright, let's move this. Let's move this around here. Put it right here so we can actually see us rolling out. This looks cool. You know, I have to go really wide. This looks cool, right? And then you can bring it right back around. Bam! Sweet! And what's he waiting on? What the? We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Ah, nice. Nice, I did it. I did it, man. Give me a, um, give me a clap. Give me a pat on the shoulder. I'm playing on a 1080p monitor and it looks like I'm playing on a 4K monitor. Nice look of tone. Stores and stuff. Looks good. Let's get it rolling. Start off in seven gear. Simulate like a every load. You have a 300 hour game and never did a triple. You have a 300. Oh, you have three hours. I never did a triple. Yo, this is actually my first time as well, bro. Like streaming it. I think I've tried it like a couple of times, but I'm not a fan. I'm not really a fan of it because I can't farm it, man. But the hell am I supposed to pass something like this? It has like three pivot points. So it's kind of really, really difficult. There's enough fuel in this truck, you can bring my go um, to where we're going. Let me look before I even commit to this journey. It's 181 miles, and we're going to Ontario, just west of Boys. A lot of twisties again. Fuel is good, fuel is good. Fuel is good. People have to like move out of the way. Now. They don't want to be nowhere near right now. We got a hammer down.
big up yourself, guys. So as I said, I'm sitting here and tuning in and watching my stream. I don't know. It's getting dark. I don't drive in the dark. So I'm gonna just fix this. Let's see if I can find where to sleep. If not, I'm just gonna use the dev console and bring it back to daylight. Let's see right here. Alright, we're right here. Now it's gonna be dark by the time we reach anywhere. So let's pull over. Rajay, what up, what up, bro? Just tuning in. You just came in. Let's see if I can just quick. Oh God, Jesus. G minus reset. Ah. Did it, man. Did it. Roger, yeah, this is a Detroit. Uh, is that a big cam? What's a big cam? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if I'm asking, I don't really know. But I don't know what's a big cam. Our second load for the night, guys. I think it's gonna be the second. Yeah, this is the second one. Hmm, this looks interesting. This looks like Jake Gray action. in the comment section oh oh comments no this is a Detroit you don't like Detroit Comments is my favorite sound in engine comments and then in Detroit. Those are my two favorite engines. Hey guys, I'm not really I can't I'm not able to like share um, the stream to like many pages as yet because I'm streaming and I only use one PC. So if I, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys can like share the stream for me in the groups. Thank you, I appreciate it a lot. Yo, so far so good, yo. I'm on in this trip is very good. America I think I've seen like UPS and FedEx mostly use triples am I right are there a lot of companies that use it they are all stealing food out of the pot someone in the kitchen stealing food out of the pot it's Abby <laughs> Yeah, I'll be your greedy girl, yo. I hear the pot rockling. Yo, full speed ahead. 16 gear, and we're at 50 miles per hour and counting. Yo, what are you like, Mount Rushmore? We stay at this Mount Rushmore in. 
Colorado. Oh my man. And M14, nice boy. No ramp for the M4, N14, M11, crazy though. M11, crazy. I think the Caterpillar engine have more of a grunt sounding, but when it comes to like, like no, like the, like brutal sound, it's the N14. It's like it has a very aggressive sounding engine but the, the caterpillar has a, 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 a little bit more of a lower grunt yeah uh, are those engines still in production like the m11 are they are like nah. anyone i really always want to find out i don't want to sound stupid when i ask this question but what's the purpose of a death tank I always hear people like, oh, I don't want a death tank on my truck or that, that thing is stupid or what's the purpose of a death tank and is it really that bad, the way of people talking? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Uh, I'm not really a professional when it comes to like the, the engines and stuff like that, but I can know a Cummins in a truck different from a Caterpillar. The Caterpillar, like, it, it just sounds not really my type of song. The Cummins Scream. Check out the Cummins 444 series. Check out the N14 and check out the M11. Cummins have uh, some of the craziest songs ever. I'm working on getting the notification set up so when you subscribe or when you like the stream it actually pops up on screen so you're gonna see it. like when you things like when you hit the share button and stuff like that yeah I'm getting that fixed yo this is heavy man I think I'm gonna go down to 12 nice Work it. Oh, oh my god. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying. I can't do that. 13 and they are ass. Let me see the comment section a little bit. Um, Pete Mitchell said, guys, don't you think the new engines like this Cat C18 don't sound as good as the older ones? For real, y'all, trust me. Yo, that C18 is like, even a Tesla is louder than it, man. It sounds stupid. Why everything is just going so quiet now, man? Even Formula One is going quiet. You remember one time, even for I, I think most of you guys are supposed to know Formula One racing, right? F1 racing. And I can remember back, as way back as when um, 
not Michael Schumacher, his brother. I think it was his brother, yeah. I remember as way back when those guys used to race and it was like the pitch of man Formula One was so fun but now the engine's like like it's like it's electric cars man it's so stupid everything is getting quieter even the engines and airplanes getting quieter because I think the loudest Sony engine was um, on a commercial jet was like on a Boeing 757, right? Or that up on Boeing 707. But I think it was this Boeing 757 engine. The loud one was actually Rolls Royce. So Rolls Royce makes plane engine as well. Right? And the other sound in high pitch one was Pratt and Whitney. Yeah. And then we have General Electric, which is on one of my favorite aircraft, the Boeing 777. Love Boeing 777. So it's kind of must be weird hearing things nerdy like this stuff from a Jamaican guy like me. But I actually like technology. Sometimes it, I'm even scared to even talk these things around people. I might like a new because they'll think I'm some type of weird person or someone that's goofy because I know like that much I love technology and I'm, it might be some weird but I don't even watch movies I'm a documentary type person I like to know stuff that's how I self teach myself so sometimes I hear people talking about oh you seen the new Predator versus the new Blade movie, the new this, the final but I don't watch those things. Cool movies, but I'm more of documentary. I like wildlife, I like infrastructure, building stuff, and yeah, that's me. So I guess I'm the only nerd in Jamaica. Alright? Good old juice. I mean sparkling water. It's a little flavor. I'm an older guy, so none of you guys like um, are plane enthusiasts, like an air, airplane enthusiast, like are his only trucks. No one like likes simulation when it comes to flight because the new Flight Simulator 2020 is coming out soon. August the 18th is going to be released. I haven't already pre-ordered as yet. I'm not sure I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to pre-order. There are three versions: standard, standard. Standard, premium, and ultimate edition. The ultimate edition, I think I'm gonna go for that one, so I'm saving up for it. It's like one hundred and twenty dollars. Guys, I'm a huge flight simulator fan. I love flight simulator just as much as I love trucking simulator. Love it. Oh, almost, almost. The new Fatimeter. I'm just trying to read the comments at the same time I'm swerving. Yeah, yo, that's what I'm talking about. The new Flight Simulator is Bro, how on earth? How on earth did they get the thing to look so accurate? Yeah, I'm just dying to fly over Jamaica, yo. Dying to get this Flight Simulator to check out Jamaica. I think they said they use something like Bing from Google Maps but the thing is yo I don't even want to stress my brain on how they get like the map alright the map Google map is flat right when you're using Google map it's flat dimension how the hell they get the buildings to like rise up like the the landscape and the elevation how they do that yo these people are crazy man 
crazy, crazy, yo. Human being, the brain, bro. The brain is a very powerful thing. That's why I tell you, anything you want to achieve, you really got to put your mind to it. But it doesn't come easy. That's the only thing. Because, man. The Fly Simulator 2020 is going to be, hands down, it's going to be one of the best games in history. Best game in history, yo. Who the hell can compete with that um, in the market when it comes to Fly Simulator? x 11 is it's one, it's a cool game as well. I should I say it's a simulator. But trust me, yo. Yeah, uh, oh, it's not that flat. Well, they say you can't even fly over your home. Like, how the hell are they gonna do that? Like, did, I'm just, it's, it's mind boggling, yo, to even think that everything is identically accurate. The whole entire world is in the damn game, man. God almighty. That is crazy. I'm gonna honestly the 120 dollar price tag for the for the ultimate edition is worth it. Come on, you're lucky they didn't even say like 1000 because remember, um, prepared um, 3D um, um, P3D. I'm not sure if it's from Microsoft as well because but it was a the later version for FSX, right? That's Flight Simulator X that was released in 2006. I think it was in 2010 or 2008 when the P3D came out. x 11 has been around a, a long time as well because I remember playing x 11 when I was like 12 years old. I already have my joystick to play Flight Simulator. I'm thinking of uh, my yoke. I think I'm gonna get a yoke because that person I'm gonna be flying the hell out of that game. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video on that. I am going to do a video. I'm gonna do videos on Flight Simulator. I'm gonna do videos on Flight Simulator. I'm gonna do live stream on Flight Simulator so you guys are gonna help me set up my radio and stuff like that because that's the one thing I don't really think I'm good at setting up the radio and stuff like that I can but sometimes it gets really really confusing Oh, you play a lot of FSX. Cool. So I'm not the only nerd. So the big question is, are you guys gonna buy it? Are you are you guys gonna buy the um, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? I think then where Colorado is going to be releasing like next month. Yeah, fingers crossed, next month.
Okay, there is our drop off. Whoa, there was where we supposed to actually drop it off. Not even gonna try to reverse this back this thing up. Crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Houston, 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 we have, we have a major problem. Let me see if I can. Lord of his voyo. Don't think I can do this. Can't back it up. God, look what I've done, man. Look what I've See if we can make something happen right here. My gosh, what a dilemma! Let's see if we can make it. Look like we're gonna make it, guys. Look like we're gonna make it. Are we gonna be able to make it? My gosh. Oh man, that was so close. We barely, barely made it, man. Oof. We did it. I didn't shame myself. Didn't shave myself. I did it. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so tired, man. Streaming, man, and reading comments. My neck is killing me. Alright, guys. That's it for the end of the stream tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Pete, big up yourself. Pete, Michelle, thank you guys. Tyrese, Roger, Zach. I don't even want to call me because there's so much of you guys. Right? Agent Ice. Oh, other than last one, you just, I just see this part. How do I get animated on um, wallpaper? I use Steam, uh, steel wall, Steam wallpaper engine on the Steam workshop. I think it's like $3 or $4. Yeah, guys again thank you guys for tuning in and i'm gonna be heading out now thank you so much for taking so much time out of your valuable time to come and watch me play american trucks i really appreciate you guys you guys have already supported me always so i gotta give up you a shout out to you guys all right thank you so much Oh, authentic diesel. I'm here, bro. Just finished my last drop off of the night. No problem, Pete. Thank you, guys. All right, and thank you, guys. Woof! Take my hat off. There's the track I are. There's a track I are. There's a microphone. 
Sa blue yet eh. I think I'm gonna have to get the stand so the microphone sits a little bit closer to me as you can hear hearing it a little bit better now, right? Alright guys, that's it. Take care guys. Have a nice night. Oh and here is the wallpaper engine. Alright? Cool. Bye bye.